In this American Truck Simulator video, I'll be driving the Kenworth T908 while hauling a good old Aussie cattle trailer. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're going to be driving the Kenworth T908 while hauling a good old Aussie cattle trailer. Well, it's actually a road train today that we've got. We, re we really should have our road train stickers on there. You know, not stickers, um, you know, uh, thing on the front there. The, the thing that drapes across the front, you know, that thing. It says road train on there, a long vehicle or something like that. But anyway, banner, that'll do. Uh, but this is the, this is a cattle, Aussie cattle trailer that I'm actually testing at the moment uh, for a group of guys. Now, I don't believe it is public at this point in time. Uh, so I can't give you a link, but I believe it is coming soon. So uh, hopefully once that link does become available, we'll do some more on it and so forth and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, let's go and take this for a spin. So first of all, I'll click there. Uh, so we're going from Santa Maria up to, and I think that's Fresno, Bushnells in Fresno. I don't know what Bushnells want with uh, cattle, but anyway... That's what they're, they're going to get anyway. Uh, so now it says cargo. Uh, cargo is cargo. I, I don't know what the go is there. I think that's meant to be cattle or pigs or or whatever. Uh, whatever it could be, it's it's there. It's, yeah, they shit and piss and make a lot of mess. Um, so, yeah, it's going to Bushnell Farms. Well, maybe they do need cattle out there. Don't know. Right, let's get this on the road and let's get started. Turn those lights on. Look at all the lights. See, that looks great, doesn't it? Looks just like a proper Aussie one, that does. Wow, that's really good. Now, in the it's 2 o'clock in the morning to 3 a.m. in the morning, so what we'll do is in the daytime, we'll actually have a better look at that truck and take it from there. So it's 45 tons. It's only small. Right, get on the road now. And have I got the trailer brake on? Is that what the problem is? No? Which brake have I got on? No? No, got no brakes. Okay, let's try a low low. It's just too heavy, that's what it was. There we go. Might have been stuck in the ground as well. Sometimes that happens when you spawn. And uh, just we'll turn here. It's very dark out here. And I don't think there's too much traffic that's going to run us over, so we can take up as much room as we need. Let's have a look at the trailer. How's it going? How's it going back here? It's all good. Listen to that engine. There we go. Engine today, I believe, is the Cummins 600 series. I believe. I haven't changed the engine in this for such a long time. And I'm just going to take this a little bit wide. If I can. Yes, I can. Oops. There we go. I sometimes miss gears with the G27. It's weird. I find it a lot easier to shift in real life, to be honest. Santa Maria. Right, so coming out of there and just keeping an eye I can't really see a great deal back there at the moment so just trying to keep it so we're well away all right 
there we go. I'm going to put high beams on so we can see. There we go. Now we can actually see something. And uh, it's 200 miles for us to go, so... Damn it. <laughs> it's, I still ground the gears. Nice little snaky bit here. Well, the trailer seems to be acting quite nice. It's not pushing against me or, you know, causing me any big issues. Like some trailers that you get, they'll push against you. And that makes it really hard when you're going up uh, down hills and going over the top of steep hills. It pushes you and you can go crashing into the wall quite easy. But this is fine. Now, uh, while I think of it, guys, I'm just going to quickly show you the options that you can get with this actual trailer. So we'll go to the About section here. Under Trailer Browser. Now, where is it? I think it's there. There we are. And, I mean, this is the different uh, configurations you can get. You can get that one there, that one there, and the road train there. So the double... See, there's the B-double. That looks pretty damn good. No cattle in there, of course. Uh, and then we have just a single trailer. And then we have the B-triple or road train. There you go. So, pretty cool. The one thing I noticed, though, is that I can't really see doors there's normally doors between each of these to to let the cattle through. They got the gangplank on there to walk across the top. Um, I don't know why there's layers there, but anyway, there's like levels. There's a third level there for some reason. Don't know, but anyway, it looks pretty good, and you can get that in a whole heap of different colours for different um, companies as well. And you can select any colour that you want to use, which is pretty damn cool. I like it. I think it's a, a lot of time and effort has gone into this trailer so I think it's going when it comes out it's going to be very very popular. Now at this time guys I don't know if we will have to pay for it or if it will be free or what I don't know yet okay so uh, when I get more information on it, I'll let you know because this is definitely a trailer that we'll probably use We'll probably see again Because it's one of those Aussie trailers that you just love to haul, you know Now it'd be interesting if uh, there was some way to simulate how the cattle moving in the back there That would be interesting. I don't think there is though But still that would be pretty cool Bakersfield as we're passing by. See you Bakersfield. Now this is cruising very nice and sitting very well on the road. So yeah, very good. Um so what else? Let's see, what else has been happening this week? Well, um I had to give my truck back. So I've now got back to the DAF again. And uh, you may have seen that video where I was showing the other day of uh, where I was driving the Volvo, the FM9. And I found, I found that to be quite a good truck to drive that. Oh, what's this? This is one of those random events. We're in 129 at the moment and this is one of those random events that you see on the side of the road. Which is really cool. He's just dumping sand in the middle of the road there. End road work. That's pretty cool. I like that feature. How it's got that, um, you know, the random stuff. I, I really like that. There's, uh, I've seen planes, road works, you know, all sorts of different stuff. So planes crash in the middle of the road. That's pretty cool. Just 
going to give that a little bit of volume. Can you? Uh, you probably hear the truck a bit better now. Get into gear. Damn thing wouldn't get into gear. Um, so let's see. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, well, yeah, yeah, well, not a great deal this week. Been just busy working is the main thing that I've been doing. And working on the 8.6. And last, uh, last week, we did uh, a, a live stream uh, where we were actually showing what we'd done on the engine. So, got a few things going there on the engine. Uh, I think we're getting very close to just, we're going to put in the main seals, replace main seals, uh, then put the clutch on. And uh, then we'll be able to put the engine in but we are stuck at the moment because we can't go too far because the uh, the extractors haven't arrived so when the extractors come we can probably uh, get it started so I've ordered them and they've been it's been a while since they've uh, it's been well over a, I think it's close to three weeks to nearly a month that were, I've ordered them so they're probably waiting for them to come from uh, overseas or to get made or something I don't know but uh, anyway um, what else uh, we went to I went to the Oz Flight Sim show so we did a live stream there so if you missed that make sure you check that out that was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's been pretty good. Right, starting to get a bit light now, so we're going to be able to see the trailer a lot better. Just wait till it gets to about 6 o'clock. And we should be able to see everything quite clearly. I turn off that high beam now, there we go. See what we can see now. We don't have any cattle in there. That's a shame. But look at that. That looks really nice. You see these a lot here in Australia. Whoops. Cattle is a very, very big thing here in Australia so it's transported a lot going to the abattoirs and stuff like that and where we are just around the corner uh, not too far away from us is an actual abattoir so that's why we get to see a lot of these cattle trailers driving around and unfortunately you're driving along and you get stuck behind one and it smells really bad really bad piss and shit, it's all you smell. There we go, sun's coming up, looking looking very nice outside there. Not quite, not quite ready for photos. still looks pretty damn good. Now if you're interested in getting this uh, Junior Cine Gaming skin for your T908, you can do so on the Steam Workshop. You can grab a copy of that. Uh, probably revving the engine a little bit too high there. Jump in front of 
the car. And we'll overtake this bus. <laughs> that would scare the crap out of everyone, everybody on the bus. <laughs> See that in the corner? That's something new. It said saving in the very top corner. Ah, oh, what? Speeding fine. Damn it. They're done for speeding. trying to overtake the bus officer he was going a bit too or he was doing awkward speeds I hate it when you're driving along and then people go fast and slow fast and slow fast and slow drives me nuts you know they're sitting in front of you you can't get past them and they go fast slow fast slow through those gears just try it in one I'll put the trailer brake on as we're taking off and see if we can go oh yeah she's a moving I got plenty of room out the back there I love this new, the new uh, GPS thing in 129. It's, uh, you know, making it a lot easier to see exactly where you need to go. And, uh, yeah, because it's just so, so clearer, so much clearer everything, so. All right, now we can get out and take a photo, eh? All right, that should be fine there. Dun, 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 dun. What's over this side? No, we're directly in line with the sun, so. That's okay. See if I can get that red up a bit more. Yeah, there we go. And try there. I think that's going to be the photo to use, that one. So we have about 39 miles to go, so not very far at all. And what do we got? No. Love those rays. Look at those sun rays as they come through the trees. That looks great. That's really, really good. See, this, this part here in American Truck Simulator reminds me of Australia. As we're driving along, you know. Oh, there's the highway there. that oh that's a big uh, oh look there we go that'll make it for a good photo nah still directly in line with the sun so still I'll take one while I'm here
take that blur strength off. There we go. <laughs> well, at least I've got oversized on the front of the truck rather than a uh, road train. Now, it must be just down the road here that we uh, we need to pull in. Sunflowers on the side there. Oh, this is beautiful out here. I love it. And there we go. There's our destination just up there. Eight miles away, Bushnell. Now, I'll have to get in and tow with the new uh, 129. I'll have to get in and tow those new loads. There's a couple of new loads, I believe, so... And around we go. Oops, didn't even indicate. Doesn't matter. Alright, where do we have to drop this? Where do we have to drop this? Just over there? Okay. Should be able to do that. And just around there. Is that Farmer Brown? Could be. Don't know. Uh, so, gonna. Take this wide. Probably shouldn't have to take it too wide because uh, there's not much to get stuck on there. Uh, now that I've said that, it's probably just going to miss that trailer there. Yeah, it did. A little bit more. There we go. Wow. There we go, that's that's in there nice. Well, not too bad, not too bad. Could be a little bit straighter up the back there, but doesn't matter. It accepted it. So there we go. Done. And it's an excellent as well. Very good. Very well done. Very good. Very good. Oh, and I probably didn't do anything for the VTC. Damn it, I should have done that. Oh, well. Well, guys, uh, there you go. That is a look at a future project that will be coming. Uh, not sure how long it's going to take to get done, but um, it will be good. Uh, it would be nice to have some cattle in there as well. See, there's no cattle or pigs or anything in there. Don't know what the shelf is in the middle there for, but... Um, yeah, that will actually be really good to see. Now, uh, this is the Kenworth T908. It is an RTA Mods truck, so uh, I will link you to their website in the description. And no, I will not be uh, linking you to a free copy of this. Okay, so unfortunately this is a paid mod. You do have to pay for it. Um, I'll also put a link in to this skin as well on the Steam Workshop, so you can download that. And that is for free. That's the uh, skin for this. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this drive. Uh, I know I did. It's uh, really cool. I love driving this truck. And uh, But until next time, look, if, this is the, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cena Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cena Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.